Hey everybody, welcome back to Durbin's Bourbon. I'm Joe. And I'm Josh. I feel like I'm far away. Oh, there we go. You go ahead. Plugged in? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Um, this particular whiskey is a good old Kentucky bourbon, small batch, Jim Knob Beam, Creek. Knob Creek, 12 year age stated bourbon. The standard Knob Creek back in the day had a nine year age statement. I have heard they're coming back. They do, that. I have one. It says nine, yeah. Yeah, so they, they decided to do away with the age stated for a while and then they brought it back. Smart decision, mm -hmm. I think. I'm a sucker um, for the age statement. We are. We're both huge I just suckers know, for like age statements. Like you said, I just want to know. Um, <laughs> this is a Jim Beam product. It is um, part of the small batch collection. In that collection is Booker's single barrel. No, Booker's isn't a single barrel. It's a small batch, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't have any. Uh, I Booker's, you did have Booker's. I got rid of it. I drank it. Oh. And you don't I'm like not it. A fan. Didn't like it at all. Uh, Booker's, Baker's, Basil Hayden's, and Knob Creek. That is their small batch collection, and they are small batch. All of them. It says it in the word right there. So yeah. uh, that <clears throat> came around the same time frame, a little later actually than 1984, Ooh. because they wanted to compete with the single barrel products coming out from Elmer T. Lee, which was Blanton's. So which is delicious. Uh, Booker, no wasn't a fan of single barrel bourbons. He hated it because a lot of your whiskey manufacturers and distillers, you cannot get consistency from barrel to barrel. Every barrel selection that comes out is gonna be different. And those guys like consistency because that's what you, the consumer, us, the consumer wants. Um, so they shied away from it. So they created the small batch collection, this being one of them. Uh, I this am, is pretty new, isn't it? The twelve year. It is. Yeah, I think it's. It's only I been. I haven't seen it. This was the first year I've ever seen it in yeah, a store. Yeah, I wonder if when here. we went to the distillery, if they had it there. I don't remember. I that don't was remember. last year. I think we would have saw that. I, but I was looking at all that because you don't like Knob Creek, right. so he wasn't really paying it. He's like, whatever. But I think I, I saw a blue label one. But did I, you? I don't know. It's possible. Drank a lot um, on that trip. So. We did. Um, the way yeah. I was driving, you so were. I, I would have been sober at that one. You would have. Yeah, probably. Um, like Josh said, I'm not a huge fan of Knob Creek. I'm really not a huge fan of the Jim Beam small batch collection. Yeah. I've tried all of them, had a Booker's. I used it in cocktails to get rid of the end of it because I really I know I don't like, like Basil it. Hayden very much. And Basil Hayden is not another. It's one of the one I don't like. I'm just I like Knob Creek, though. I'm a Knob Creek of fan. Of the small batch, I do <laughs> like Knob Creek the it's, most. It's, you know, it's Jim Beam, so it's heavier rye. It is. Really <laughs> heavy rye. There's that. Man, that characteristic. It's just... It's caramely, though. I get a lot of wood it char is. and caramel. Wood char. Yeah, wood char Which, and caramel. Nice dark. I mm -hmm. mean, 12 years. It's got that color. Um, pretty thick. Look at the legs are medium speed. I mean, yeah. they're... So it's going to stick. It's, it's going to hang around. proof. I don't know if you said that already. I did not. Thanks for... So it's a little, it should be a little already. hotter than... Your 90 proof or 85, or 80, whatever they are. What 90. is the regular nine? I think it's something. 95, 90, 95 or somewhere yeah, in there. It's I not 100. There. Um, we <laughs> hope you're enjoying the show. Is. Hit the thumbs button. Hit the subscribe button. I hit the thumbs button. The thumbs up. <laughs> or thumbs down. We get some thumbs down. We even get it some happens. haters out there. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. It means you made it. I dig it. it. Um, strong nose. Strong mm -hmm. alcohol for me. Very alcohol, strong bourbon. Caramel, char, leather. Leather. Yeah, leather, uh, like fresh leather. Yeah, like yep. I can think of like a strop, a yep. leather strop on for for sharpening your knife, taking that edge on. Hmm. Something else in there. No, leather's pretty strong. All right, um, you going for a try? Yep. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers everybody. Hmm. Looks like Knob Creek. Boy, that's. That's Knob Creek all day long, with a little more heat. A little more heat. Uh, it's a little actually, sw almost sweeter, I think. I was gonna. Say, yeah, there's kind of a like, like char, but vanilla. Mm -hmm. Heavy vanilla for me. Kind of and a butterscotchy a little bit. I 
initially I get like the butterscotch, kind of butterscotch candy, and then it goes into <clears throat> vanilla, caramel, and then yeah. I could taste that rye I could, at the end there. Boy, oh boy. You yeah, should have water rye. to it. Mm -mm. Not, not I'm going to, because I don't care. <laughs> As uh, <clears throat> Fred No always he called it the Kentucky Chew. Yeah. If you give it that good old Kentucky Chew, kind of rinse it around your mouth just for a little bit. It's got um, some heat. There's some heat. I can feel it on my tongue. Kind of makes it almost numb. Uh, but that leather for me is really dominant. There's some char, caramel, leather, orange peel. Little yeah, orange I get citrusy peel, for sure. Citrusy kind of orange peel that almost bitter but not quite. I'm getting a little of the toasted marshmallow um, when I add water. I, I almost thought of that in my mind as I was doing the old Kentucky Chew on it. Um, I felt like marshmallow mm -hmm. might have been a hint. Yeah, that charred marshmallow. I like it. It was only like oh yeah, it fifty was. bucks, maybe fifty five or something. Yeah, so for a twelve year age statement, it's not bad. For a twelve year age statement, the way things bourbon, are going these days. Yeah, no kidding. Can't find anything. Um, it's decent. Not yeah. my favorite. I'm not a. If you like Knob Creek, I would say definitely pick this for up. For sure. Or Jim Beam products in general. In general, um, yeah. It's got that same high rye, mm -hmm. you know. It really ah, tastes heat. like Jim Beam. It does. I mean, yeah. straight across the board. Like, like a the black or something? Or, yeah. or The Jim Beam Devil's Cut. Yeah. Now, see, I really enjoy the Devil's Cut. Yeah, you do. And I really enjoy the black label, which is an eight-year whiskey. So It's probably... It's it's like the same mash bill maybe but just aged differently maybe different areas yeah, yeah of the you know what I mean because all pull different characteristics I'm with you like I like both of those as well the Devil's mm -hmm. Cut and the the Black Label right but this is different it's different but it's it it's kind of but it's a little similar but God, it's that it's a family you can right. taste it's the same right. family like if I tasted this up against like a Buffalo Trace product I feel like I can right. tell the difference yep like yeah. where oh, they come yeah. from you know yeah. And we've got some 1981 Jim Beam mm. and decanter that my amazing neighbor got at an estate sale. Two of the old collectible decanters, one with an elk and one with ducks. Sweet. Uh, one is completely full, tax stamp still on. Um, I broke it and gave it a taste. The other one was about half full, but allegedly the same. It was the from an estate <laughs> sale, so I'd been in the collection. Uh, just sitting there collecting dust. It tasted quite different, in my opinion, than the old Jim Beam White Label. Huh. But we're going back 1981. They did things a little different yeah. back then. I'm sure. Yeah. Same mash bills, but just stuff was done differently. A lot more, I would imagine, a lot more tasting and like figuring it out instead of the science that's in it now as whereas they can, more you know, you have people. a chemical engineer come in right. and know and exactly. Computers. Yeah. More but they still taste, yeah. I think it just more heart in it, yeah. maybe. Less We like to think that, at least. <laughs> we do. We buy into yeah. that whole thing. The For nostalgia sure. nostalgia of it. Um, decent whiskey. If you're a Jim Beam Products yeah, I'd pick it fan, up. and especially if you're a small batch fan, you definitely should get it, especially if you can find it in your marketplace for the $50 to $60 price range. Um, it's yeah, for worth 100 proof, it. 12 years. Uh, it's, it's, it's a nice, hot strong bourbon yep i and like it it would hold up well in cocktails oh, yeah. i can assure you on that it would hold up really well yep um i got nothing no. else i uh, hope you're enjoying this particular review and the show in general and as like always like and subscribe yes like and subscribe <laughs> and as always enjoy your whiskeys and bourbons any, any way, way you, you like. like cheers everybody cheers. that was a good clinkity mm -hmm. The more we do.